Welcome to the program. I'm your host, Neil Howard. Thank you so much for joining us here. You know, there's a, a new study published in the Journal of Urology found that the Oncotype DX genomic prostate score is a strong, independent predictor of critically important outcomes for men with unfavorable intermediate risk prostate cancer. That's a mouthful. And here to talk about this uh, study, these two studies, is Dr. Steve Shack, Chief Medical Officer at Exact Sciences. Welcome to Health Professional Radio, Dr. Shack. Thank you so much. And yeah, so we, this new publication, uh, which is a collaboration of multiple leading investigators in urology uh, here in the United States, uh, just published these important results. The, the GPS or genomic prostate score is a test that's used on uh, the needle core biopsies uh, that are obtained and make the diagnosis of prostate cancer. Now, we know that all prostate cancers are not the same um, and to uh, very much uh, make sure that we target the aggressive treatment uh, to the right patients, uh, GPS has now been used in tens of thousands of men who've been diagnosed with prostate cancer. The new data expands the utility of uh, the GPS result uh, to a men who on biopsy have unfavorable intermediate risk prostate cancer. Which is what exactly when it comes to the differences in prostate cancers? What is UFI? Uh, UFI uh, is defined by uh, the NCCN um, as a group of features of prostate cancer, which on average give it a higher level of risk. Mm -hmm. Importantly, in this new publication, um, when uh, the study was done on 299 intermediate risk patients, mm -hmm. 175 of whom were classified as having unfavorable risk, mm -hmm. it was found that a GPS test result of less than 40 had outcomes similar to favorable patients, mm -hmm. suggesting that less aggressive therapy may be needed. Now, is this the first time that you studied Oncotype DX in this particular population? We've actually studied uh, Oncotype DX in a broad population now, mm -hmm. um, uh, ranging from very favorable or very low risk uh, mm -hmm. to also high risk. Um, this study is important because it uh, was just so um, uh, so uh, impactful in telling now the story of a very clear cutoff. Uh, that we can use with the GPS score to identify, um, importantly, who needs aggressive treatment. And of course, then um, the urologist can, uh, can follow up and, and, and do the appropriate treatment, but also which men can also uh, get less aggressive treatment, mm -hmm. which in this era now of COVID allows us to delay or to continue to watch patients until they really need uh, more aggressive treatment. Can the GPS facilitate a patient or, or a clinician changing the treatment that is currently being administered based on the GPS, or is this something that isn't uh, used once treatment has started? No, absolutely. It's actually uh, used before treatment has started. Mm -hmm. um, and in the experience of tens of thousands of patients, about one out of three cases are reclassified, reclassified uh, based on the GPS result. Mm, okay. uh, a larger number of them are downstaged, uh, mm -hmm. allowing them to get less aggressive therapy mm -hmm. or active surveillance. But an important minority are, are found, um, and I know that many, many general practitioners still want to find those men who unfortunately might have that kind of aggressive prostate cancer that, you know, they really worry about and mm -hmm. that the urologist can really immediately address with um, therapy. What percentage of um, men would you, so, or would you say qualify UF as UFI? What, what would you, percentage would you say? And is this going yeah. to change the guidelines? Each year, um, approximately 192,000 prostate cancer patients are diagnosed in the United States. And of them, about 43,000, or about one out of five, have uh, unfavorable risk prostate cancer features. 
Um, that's why, you know, this new result is so important. And we certainly believe that uh, based on these new analyses, um, there is now strong support for guideline inclusion of GPS in the broader population of unfavorable intermediate risk patients. And um, do you think this is something that can be used beyond this type of cancer in other, I guess, uh, treatment resistant cancers? Um, this is one of the, the GPS uh, test is, uh, I believe, you know, one of the first steps now that we have, um, and it's already available uh, for uh, personalized medicine for more precise treatment of patients. Uh, and there is no doubt that new tests are going to be developed that will allow us in prostate cancer and hopefully in all cancers to ultimately make every treatment decision based on a diagnostic test. Where can our listeners get some more information online about these uh, these studies and about the Oncotype GS genomic prostate score? Yes. Yeah, so uh, for uh, for more information, uh, please go to oncotypedx.com. Uh, well, Dr. Shaq, thank you so much for joining us here on Health Professional Radio this evening. Is there anything that you would uh, like and to thank add? Thank you. Uh, I want to just conclude by... Uh, thanking very much the uh, leading urologists and researchers who uh, have performed the studies and certainly all the patients uh, that volunteered for the research that now allows the GPS test to help uh, prostate cancer patients who are diagnosed every day uh, here in the United States. And thank you. You've been listening to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard, in conversation with Dr. Steve Shack, Chief Medical Officer at Exact Sciences. Audio copies of this program are available at hpr.fm and healthprofessionalradio.com.au. You can also subscribe to the podcast on iTunes. Listen in, download at SoundCloud, and be sure and subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com, Health Professional Radio.